Okay, this is the fitting instruction video for the Vepper 12 shotgun, uh, fitting a C-Spec steel magazine into your Vepper 12 shotgun. Uh, this is a two-stage process. You'll want to start with a shotgun that is empty and preferably field stripped. It makes it easiest to see and adjust your magazines to your shotgun. Uh, first thing we want to verify is that the magazine fully inserts. Uh, the way we'll check this is using this surface right here on the top of the uh, rear latch and we're going to insert it and we're going to look for it to contact or to uh, be flush with this slot that is cut through uh, the center support of the shotgun, the ejector block. Let me go ahead and lock the magazine in. This one does fit correctly and I just want to show what it looks like when it is correct. Alright, you'll see this notch or the slot rather, and it is approximately flush with that. Uh, it's, in this case, the magazine just sits a little bit below, uh, but that is good. Now, if at this, if uh, this does not happen with your shotgun magazines, they don't insert all the way. You'll want to remove off of the upper angled surface a little bit at a time, checking fit until it reaches that point where this portion of the rear lug is approximately flush with the slot through the ejector block. Once we're to that point, uh, if the latch if the latch does not throw, uh, we'll need to remove more. If the latch throws, you're done. Uh, so if the latch does not throw, you'll want to remove material off of this inner uh, angled portion, and you'll want to remove it if you uh, have to if you cannot maintain the angle perfectly, you'll want to err toward it being a little bit on the flatter side rather than being more angled. Uh, this will prevent the magazine from being ejected uh, during recoil. Uh, a steeper angle causes them to be ejected during recoil. All right, uh, once you get the magazine latch to click, you're done.